precision is in every aspect of barbering, you know, whether you're cutting long hair like this or whether it's on a more shorter level, section is gonna encourage accuracy and precision within your cutting. Now, it's really important that you kind of know the best ways in which to section because it can get a little bit fiddly. All right, so another really crucial kind of factor in ensuring good control is making sure the block's nice and damp, making sure the hair is nice and damp. Just make sure you've got this kind of section that runs across the head nice and straight. Obviously, if that's off a little bit, it's gonna affect your overall section and then potentially affect the balance of the cut afterwards. We're gonna start just from the center here and I'm gonna take a section from the middle, isolate it and then lift it out. I always like to keep this hand spare to kind of help to separate the hair. So I'm gonna draw the comb down there. Keep in contact that top tooth with the head at all times. Push that down, split the hair with my finger and thumb. Okay, then use my thumb as a bit of a placeholder to just to keep that hair out of the way and isolate that section. And then it's a balance between the comb and your fingers to keep control of the hair. And I like to use my comb as a bit of a scoop. Okay, and kind of lift that out. And the idea is now that it's in your hands, you don't kind of let go of the hair, because if you let go of the hair, you've lost the control. Comb and your fingers to keep control of the hair whilst you're kind of working out the tension. Now, when you're taking your sections, you don't want to go too wide with them. If you're taking really, really big sections, what you end up doing is bunching all of that hair into the middle and you're going to get an inaccurate cut. So keep it nice and tidy. Okay, no wider really than about an inch. And then just lift that out. Now use your fingers and the comb to help maintain control. Okay, you've pulled it out. Okay, but you'll notice you might have a few little baggy bits in there. That's gonna really kind of impact on the accuracy of your cutting because you're gonna end up with longer bits in there. And so when you pull the hair out, overlap your fingers a little bit, and that's gonna allow you to maintain a good tension when pulling the hair out. Obviously, with a real climb, use the chair, bring them up, pull them down a little bit, move them around use all the kind of functionalities of that chair really. We're gonna talk about posture and body positioning in relation to where you're on the head. Now when you stood up for long days, you know, you need to be really, really aware of how you're standing, you know, to prevent things like fatigue and overstretching um, and stuff like that. So we're gonna just focus on where you are in position to the head, okay? Because when you pull out your sections, you wanna make sure that you're pulling out those sections directly from the head to ensure you get an accurate cut. Okay, now I'm gonna stand on my feet shoulder width apart. Again, I'm gonna stand directly behind the section that I want to take. Okay, I'm gonna take my section, I'm gonna lift it out, using my comb as a scoop. I'm gonna overlap my fingers to maintain that good tension. I'm gonna lift the hair out from there. If you're taking your sections out and pulling them back, what you're gonna end up with is an over-directed cut. When you look at that kind of, when you look at the kind of baseline at the bottom, you're gonna notice that it gets longer as it comes out to the sides. So really make sure you are positioning yourself right around the cut. I'm gonna use my chest, the center of my chest as a little bit of a kind of visual reference here. I'm gonna take this section, okay? Isolate that section off. Use this comb as a scoop. Pull it out. Maintain control with the comb and the fingers. Get that good tension. Pull that out and then make sure my chest, okay, center of my chest is gonna be that visual representation and then I'm ready to cut.